Marga put the punga in my marga turn up. Blew through keyhole with straw. <laughs> I'm sure if you say so, he's a very nice fellow, but I'm trying to rehearse. But, right? Sir, I'm, I'm trying to tell you that after all this, they have given him Saxa, told him to go jar jar, and they're going to replace him with an electric fanny. <laughs> Hello, guys, welcome to our channel. Today, we are going to watch It Ain't Half Hot Mum Ranga compilation. And this will be a very, very fun to watch because we saw his one. Uh, comp uh, one video and that was so hilarious how he was trying to set up a chai setup in Piccadilly so this will be very fun like what he does in the whole show and how he is so let's watch this video Dear Lali Tonight is very special night Why? Once every week a glorious British king give to Tommy Atkins three bottles of holy British water known as beer Beer. beer. When British soldier boy get beer, oh ho, there is such happiness. <laughs> and in the evening, they gather together for a lovely British custom, which they are calling Get Stinky. <laughs> get Stinky. While they are doing Get Stinking ceremony, they are singing Get Stinking songs. Like, roll out battle, let us have other one, and roll me over, do it again, please. <laughs> do it again, this is please. Very special get stinking sound because Colonel Saab say it has two meaning. <laughs> and when they're not singing, they are talking about blighty or talking about sexy. Sexy? <laughs> why does he want him in the concert party? He's putting him in a spine, if that's what. <laughs> I must be to our most urgent matter. Oh, blimey. All right, fellas, take ten. What is it, Randy? Uh, Saab, this man, this man, Ramzan, is a Ponkawala to Battery Office. And he is very loyal fellow. Why, he has been Ponkawala since he was so high. Okay. In fact, he comes from a long string of Ponkawalas. <laughs> his father was Ponkawala. And his father's father was Ponkawala. We Ponkawala. understand what he is. Yeah, he's a Pankawala. Yeah, uh, the one who fans. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you know, actually, it is not a very fun thing because I have seen like how it used to be mm -hmm. uh, during that time. Like they used to, like Pankawala had to do this for the full time because there was no fans and something mm -hmm. like that. And even with uh, like when they used to sleep, they used to do it with their legs. So they had motorized their leg in, leg yeah. in such a way that used to continue doing even do though that. they yeah, were in sleep. sleep. Yeah. And his great, 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 great grandfather was Pankawala to Clive of India. Okay. When he was just plain Clive. <laughs> and before he was of India. And when that Nati Maharaj put British in black hole of Calcutta, his great, 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 great grandfather tried to keep them cool. through keyhole with straw. I'm sure if you say so, he's a very nice fellow, but I'm trying to rehearse. But sir, I'm trying to tell you that after all this, they have given him Saxa, told him to go jar jar, and they are going to replace him with an electric fanny. Oh, Grimey, you are here at very special time. Mm. Concert party is giving one very special top hole funny show for Maharaja of Barapur. But we British are knowing one secret. While concert party is having its funny turn, one of Maharaja Saab's most loving sons is going to be very naughty and shoot his daddy. <laughs> Never mind. There is no need to be worried because Gana Lofty Sudden Saab, that is the one with the very high voice and the very low head, <laughs> has been volunteered by Sergeant Major Saab to throw himself upon the body of Maharaja Saab to protect him from the nasty bullets. <laughs> oh, if Colonel Lofty Saab does not throw himself quickly enough, Sergeant Major Saab is going to help him most kindly oh. with his foot. Oh! oh. And you know, the best part about this is, like, uh, you know, in India we say every word, after every word, we respectfully say Saab. 
Hmm. And hmm. like sergeant major is enough. Like that is well respected thing. In hmm. English, you won't say anything like after that. Hmm. But in India, because he has a habit of saying them sahab, Sa- that is sir. Sir. So he says sergeant and major, major sir, sir. <laughs> continuously. This is so innocent. Actually, and he also says we British. He's not saying the British, British and Indians. Yeah. He's we like British. we British do this. <laughs> we British do that. How dare you? To who do you think you are talking to? I am bearer to concert party, which is top hole job. <laughs> so don't you go getting ideas above your terminus. <laughs> Wait outside. <laughs> My favorite character. Sergeant Major Sam, kindly ask you to wait. Kindly, <laughs> kindly. <laughs> He shirts a lot, don't he? Yes, oh, so much hard, kindness. Man. Only on top is he fierce. At bottom, he is soft, like <laughs> that mango. If he weren't very soft with that fella pulling that string, he kicked him. Oh, but he did not kick him very hard, sir. And he's only low caste fellow. <laughs> <laughs> we British have to be firm. <laughs> it is only way. We must maintain law and order. Law and order. It's la. the only thing these fellows understand. <laughs> 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 now, let me give you one illustration. Now take the bee. One nice furry little fellow in football jersey, isn't it? <laughs> he go about doing his business in peace and making beautiful sweetness. But if anybody give him any trouble, there is always sting in the bum. <laughs> that is sting in the bum, sir. <laughs> He is such a fun character, and you know we Indians also think that at that point of time, many Indian people became so British because mm. of that British rule existed mm. for so long. Mm. Because we were so attached to them, and he is one of those characters who feels like he is a part of British, and mm. he is like these people are like that, these people are like that, mm. and normally these things, if you say that today, might be called racism. Yeah. Like you are saying us to that, but this is such a fun way of depicting it, and it was hilarious to watch. And how he is like that pankha wala. He just said, yeah. "This guy is great, 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 great grandfather." Also, you should do the same thing. And he everything. He's such a cute character because mm-hmm. he has so much, you know, so much love for. I would, I would say, love for like Britishers, and he he considers Britishers as a, as his own people. You huh. know, it's like it's like us. And even if he has to describe someone who's you know bad or something, even if he is he or she is Indian, then he oh these people are like this and that mm. people are like that. So he is in team British, and also we saw in a clip that he was saying that uh, he was about to set up the chai thing. So he is too much. He is going to British, and I just love his accent. That he said la and order, la and order. <laughs> this is so Indian because I've heard my grandfather speaking such you know that tooty footy English. <laughs> yes, and it is very very. hilarious to watch so how did you guys find it do let us know in the comment section below so do like share and subscribe bye, bye.